Okay, folks, if you want to go through and take these things apart. So I find it helpful to have some type of tool to be able to scrape things off. I've got a couple different types. It really doesn't matter as long as you've got one that you can bend and be able to get the items off of your board. You can take this, you can bend it like this. This one off. Oh, you put that off to the side. One, two, three, four holes. We have the antenna hole. We have the D ring holder here. Then we've got all this fill to take off. We want to make sure that we're going to keep this shelf, that shelf, that shelf, and this shelf. So this is the one that's going to take the most time. The back piece is said and done, so we're all good to go there. You've got the face panel. So this is where the screen's going to be. Looks like it's got some little discoloration there. This is where you've got your screen punch out that we're going to need to take off in this part as well for the USB plug-in and then the power bar. So this part is done. Now we're also going to grab our backup piece that we had as well and we'll clean that up just so you can see both options, right? Now it's helpful to be able to have yourself either a a pair of snips is nice. Um, you can use a needle in those pliers like this. That works too. Um, it's also helpful to have a X-Acto knife, but if you don't have an X-Acto knife and clips, maybe you're a Boy Scout, a pair of needle nose pliers and or your knife will do just fine. So you could scrape via the old knife as well. So as long as you're able to go through and clean off what you need to here. So some of these are gonna be real easy. You can go through and see, it's pretty easy to break off here. You can use your fingers, or this is where you come in. I'm gonna use my Leatherman as an example, so you can use the, use a pair of needle nose pliers. Move things off of here. If you got an older knife, this knife is not the sharpest, it's more of a utility knife than anything else. Just trying to clean this up a little bit. Got your pair of snips too. You can come in here and cut this off pretty easily, which is nice. See, it comes off real easy. So now this being the screen, you could go through and actually put some pressure on the front here to try to punch this through. You can actually see it coming up here, which is great. So twist that right off and pull it.
get your prying tool in there. That helps it pop pretty easily. This is just a small pair of snips. Go through and clean this all off to where it's nice and flat. The flatter we can get this, the better off we're gonna be on making sure that the screen is gonna fit cleanly. This part I'm pretty happy with. If you wanted to go through and take yourself a file or such, you could go through and file this down a little bit. Otherwise, we'll put this one off to the side for a minute. Let's do the same thing to this one now. This one's actually printed to where that part comes off pretty easily. And if we do that same thing, same trick with your Push in the hole here to help push out the back. Do the same thing with this guy. Let's see if we can get it started, that'd be great. Get in here, you can twist it out. Just trying to get all that support off of there. Now this can also go a little bit faster if you're doing it right after it's off the printer because it's still warm. Um, this has been sitting for a day or two on the plate for me. And I guess theoretically you could always go warm it back up again. Go stick it on the plate, warm up the heat bed. Now I'm able to get in here and actually clip off more of the support material by kind of using my snips like it's a chisel. So, Okay. Well, it's not perfect, it's pretty good for now. So, we've got that one taken care of. Let's go on to our next one. Now, 
Now, we've already been at this for 10 minutes. So the way I like to go through and work on this one, let's go for the hole first. done this arch here I come in here gently pull across you can actually start to see where the hole is supposed to be Now, if somebody else wants to come up with a design that requires less supports, I am all down for it. After going through and printing this and different versions of this off about 20 times, this was the easiest version that I could come up with, but I am all for better iterations and saving material, right? So we also do print it to where this flat side is the one that's gonna be facing you. Um, and facing the public. So this side's the back side. So we try to make this pretty to make sure it's gonna come off clean. So if you need it to be able to get, if, if back here got ugly, it's gonna be facing towards you, not towards people walking. So. Hey, look at that nice little piece came off there. Now, we can see that is a support here, but underneath it is not support. So, take that and just keep on taking it off. Good chunk there. Okay. Now, this is where if you have your, your putty knife or separator he can get in here actually draw a line actually help get in there Nice thing about this is that it's not sharp. So if you stab yourself in the hand, it's not gonna hurt you. When going through different versions of this, I, uh, there's a couple times I jab the X-Acto knife into my hand. So if you're gonna use an X-Acto knife, please use caution. Okay, now when we're coming to this side, we're getting to some of the fun part of the badge. Before we do this side, let's come over here and do the same thing. We can insert our putty knife in here. making some decent progress we're about 14 minutes into the cleanup process okay so here comes the fun part we're gonna get up in here 
we're gonna start carefully taking this away. See, we've got support here and support here. So there's another little section right here. There we go. Look at that, that's coming out. See, so this part has support. So that's all I'm just gonna snap right off there. support right back there we can take off now we do want to keep this front ledge but we can see there's more support behind it we can take off just like that Okay, we're almost in the home stretch. And this is taking about 16 minutes so far. Just about to hit the 17 minute mark. See the hole there. This grid work can be, so that's still some support that can be taken off. Now you can come across with a knife and clean this up. Now you can fit check it. That's not right. Nope. Oh, that's the front. Oy vey. That's the back. One, two. So the flatter you can get this, the better off you're gonna be. So if you wanted to come in something with like this, Okay, so the nice thing is like on a Leatherman, you don't have to use a heavy nailer. You can actually go in here and use this guy.
So you get as smooth or as rough as you want it, but long story short, that's a quick rundown. It's about 20 minutes for you to get it cleaned up, for you to be able to go through and use whichever face that you want here. Now, the entire thought process behind this badge was we have these four holes. One, two, three, four. Some printers can be dilated to where it's just right and everything fits wonderfully. Other printers are off. So we left things a little bit loose on purpose so then it'll hold in place. But the idea being you can go through this here. This is without the badge. But what you can go through and do is you can hold your badge in place and then you can drill one, two, three, four, then take off the back, put the front on, flip around, one, two, three, four, or excuse me, one, two, three, four, and drill holes in it. And the hole is just big enough for you to be able to shove a filament through, or you could set it up with a screw and a nut to hold it in place. If somebody wanted to go through and modify the case to where this was a brass insert instead, that would be awesome as well. So lots of different options and or updates you can do. So that's a quick rundown of live, no speeding up, 22 minutes to be able to go through from pulling it off the printer to getting it cleaned up to get ready to install on, or get ready to install one of the TT Lily Goes. So with that, our next video will be going through and installing this into that.